I'm building a Micron and I've decided to use the Big Tree Tech Pi as my host for Clipper. The BTT Pi gives you good performance at a reasonable price and also includes a 12 to 24 volt DC power input, which makes it easy to power off of the power supplies normally found in 3D printers. Setting up this Pi is a little different than a traditional Raspberry Pi, but it's really easy. There's just a couple of different configuration steps and I'm going to step through how to do it. These steps will work either for the BTT Pi or the CB1 board. So let's take a look. First thing we're going to do is go to Big Tree Tech's GitHub repository for the BTT Pi. You can see there's a note here that the usage and configuration of the OS is the same for the CB1 as the BTT Pi. So these instructions will work for either. But there are some instructions here on the board fan pin configuration link that will tell you how to set up the 5 volt cooling fan for your Pi, which I would recommend taking a look at if you're interested in a little additional cooling for the Pi. But we'll click over to the CB1 page. And you can see that there are two versions here. There is the Clipper version and the Minimal version. Minimal is just the Linux installation where the Clipper version includes Clipper main sail and Clipper screen. This is the version that is gonna be easiest to set up for running Clipper and happens to be the exact configuration I need for this machine because I'm also running the TFT35 SPI screen. So I'll go ahead and download the XZ compressed file and then decompress that, which is going to take a minute. Once you have the firmware file, you can use whatever tool you like to flash the image onto your micro SD card. I'm going to go ahead and use the Raspberry Pi imager. Even though this isn't a Raspberry Pi, you can use that as a generic imaging software. All you have to do is under the operating system, we're going to scroll to the bottom and select use custom, then grab the IMG file that we just downloaded and select the micro SD card that we want to image. We understand it will be erased and we wait. Your imaging software will probably eject the card when it is done. All you need to do now is pull it from the computer and stick it back into the computer to remount the card because we need to do a little more configuration on your computer before we put it into the MCU. Now we need to go into the boot volume on the micro SD card and open the system.cfg file. Here we're going to do a little configuration. First thing that you can do is you can change the host name, which is the name that will show up on your network, as well as the prompt when you SSH into the controller. Next, we will set the time zone. And finally, we'll put in the Wi-Fi information for our network. Save that. Next, I need to go into the board env.txt file, which is the board environment. And since I'm running the TFT35 SPI, I just need to uncomment the overlay line for that. You would do the same if you were using one of these other display options. If you're using an HDMI display, you shouldn't need to configure anything. This is just because the SPI needs a little configuration to get the port operational. But I'll go ahead and uncomment that line, save it, and now I'm ready to put the SD card into the Pi and boot. It's not unusual for the Pi to automatically reboot itself once when you first power it on after imaging it. I believe this is because Linux is expanding the partition on the micro SD card. So if it boots and then automatically reboots, don't worry about that. But then you should come up and you will probably see some errors, which is totally expected at this point. Once you can see that Clipper screen has loaded, you'll need to go to your router and find the IP address that your printer is on. Then go to that address in a web browser, which I've done here. 
and we can see that it is reporting errors, that there is a big tree CFG file that does not exist. And if we take a look in the printer.cfg, we can see that there's nothing there. Now that Clipper main sale and Clipper screen are all up and running, you can start filling in your printer configuration files, adding macros, and doing all the testing to make sure that your printer is configured properly. And that's it. Uh, it's not really difficult, just a little bit different than the traditional uh, Raspbian or main sale flashing on a proper Raspberry Pi. The Big Tree Tech Pi is a very capable little board. It should work really well. You just need to program it a little differently. So I hope that was helpful and look forward to bringing you more tips and tricks soon.